Wait, Summer, do you have time to study later? Yeah. Um, do you just uh, look at my boobs? I was not my intention. I didn't uh, stare directly at them. You look at them right now. Now I did, because you were talking about them. Testing. Oh, failed. Oh, my god. Well, we're going to be in swimsuits a lot, so yeah. if it's going to be a problem for you. There's not a problem for me at all. Yeah. Cool. All right. You just looked at them again. No, I didn't. Yeah, I was. Did. I didn't. That's Zach Efron in Baywatch. It opens the theaters tomorrow. You um, you were probably too young for Baywatch, really. I mean, Baywatch was pre your kind of adolescence, right? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah. it was like the one channel we got on TV that was kind of fuzzy. It would come in like late at night, and I would see Pamela Anderson running in slow-mo through our CRT yeah. TV. But you, and David Hasselhoff. And David Hasselhoff. Saving, who, saving somebody. You posted this to Instagram. This Was this a um, welcome <laughs> gift from David Hasselhoff? No, that's uh, <laughs> that was a, That was actually totally separate. That was a start gift, um, like, from my representation. When you start a movie, see. you get a start gift. Uh, oh, but did I, they do this as a joke, or did David really sign this? It, David didn't sign that for me, but when I met him, I, so I found out that David was actually coming to set, and right. uh, I was not in this scene. Okay. Uh, this was top secret at this point. Um, none of the cast knew. So I, um, I jumped out of bed. It was, pretty, it was pretty early. I jumped out of bed, ran to set, and had to meet David Hasselhoff. And... Uh, when I did, it was the very end. It was like the last ta last take. I kind of right at the perfect moment. He was like emerging from the water. He had just like shook hands with with uh, with the Rock, <laughs> and um, and he was just in this. They said cut, and he looked over like right into my eyes. <laughs> super tan, super handsome, and just in all his David Hasselhoff handsome glory, like stood there and was like, Zach, how are you? <laughs> and it was one of the coolest moments of my entire life. I literally was like, you were the epitome of cool. Like, he, st he was tan, he had Chester, he was still buff. Like, I was just, I'll never forget that moment. It was like meeting a hero. It was just incredible. You play a character, as I mentioned, who's like kind of a disgraced Olympian, is a swimmer. Is this, does, does Ryan Lochte know you're making a movie about his life? <laughs> Okay, so actually, yeah. I want to clarify this. Okay. We came up with this character. Now, the director and I both sat down, and we came up with this character entirely on our own. So he stole this from you. <laughs> we, as, <laughs> as the Olympics unfolded, we were going, what the heck is going on right now? Really? Like, yeah, this is insane. Like, they were already editing. We, like, I, I feel like there was already a cut of the film before any of the swimming ever happened. That's really Olympics. weird. So all of this was, I mean, they're versions of a script, but I was supposed to be sort of like a, you know, a, kind of a deadbeat cop that left kids and left his family and showed up at Baywatch. We were like, I was like, no, I want to be like the, the early Justin Bieber of swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like who's that? Who's that cocky dude who like, you know, messes up and and but it still has a good heart and and, uh, and, and you want and you root for and you root for and, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's what. And then happened. Ryan Lockie and then came and <laughs> you, you, you said did the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have you do you know him? Have you ever met Ryan Lochte? Um, I think I've shook I've shook his hand before. Um, and that's yeah. We said hi very briefly. Yeah. Okay. We've met. Okay. We've well, met. hopefully he won't. That be was mad. a long time ago. I was way <laughs> way way before any of this. So. so okay, just for the record, this is not based on Ryan Lochte. Zero. It's a complete coincidence that your character's disastrous life matches up with his actual disastrous life. 100%. All right, well, there yeah, you 100. go. Big it is not a true story. It opens in theaters tomorrow. Zach Efron, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die. <laughs>